Hi guys, it's Diane and this is Narrow Dreams. Can I just start today by saying a massive thank you to everybody that's subscribed to the channel. Um, if you look, it's 60 people. That doesn't seem like a massive amount to most YouTubers, you see. But to me, it is just amazing. I didn't think anybody would want to watch me rattling on about uh, Dream to Live on a Narrow Boat and, and scouring round the... Uh, marinas and, and canals in our locality so I'm just absolutely staggered and I just want to say a huge thank you I hope you're enjoying the videos and I hope you will continue to watch them when we do get an narrow boat obviously they're going to become a little bit more interesting because I'm going to be able to show you uh, you know what we're up to what we're going to be doing on the narrow boat because I'm not expecting to be able to just go out and buy the perfect boat we're going to have to do some work on it to make it our own so hopefully you you will sort of keep watching until then and i'll try and make it as interesting as i can as we learn everything we need to know and go around the local well local-ish area sort of a couple of hours away uh looking at marinas and boats and the like so a massive thank you once again uh, and today's uh, video is going to be looking at um marinas in the uh, Nottingham area and uh, a visit to uh, the Nottingham Riverside Festival. So today's journey will be from Scunthorpe, which is where we live, to Nottingham. Google Maps told me that's 72 miles. Now the first place we're going is Sawley Marina, that's actually 78 miles from where we live, but as you can see it's, it's next to the Trent. So this is um, well, it's sort of the first bit of the marina you see as you park in the visitors car park. Um, a large one proportion is nice, of cruisers, but there are you know quite a decent number of narrow boats scattered about as well. Um, this is the entrance into the marina from the Trent. So if you're coming by boat, you would come in and uh, go under that little bridge there. Um, and these are some moorings, as you can see, these are uh, narrow boats and, and wide beams. Uh, they're just moored just outside the marina. This is um, all fenced off and, and gated. This is what they call the uh, platinum moorings. Um, so a little bit more expensive, a little bit more exclusive. Two cute little dogs there that were waiting for somebody. I just couldn't resist. Uh, so we're back again to the, uh, the platinum moorings here. You can see that we're just coming up to the gate where it's all shut off. So again, this is in the main part of the marina. Um, it's it's sort of in in two separate halves really. This is this is the first bit you come to in the car park. Um, and then as we go over this way, we're walking towards the other side. This is all the office area and everything. That's a little um, display thing. So again, you can see uh, that side of, of the marina with mostly cruisers. Uh, and the area we're heading to, if you can see that sign, says boats for sale. Obviously a bit that we're quite interested in. Uh, so these are some of the boats for sale. There was one particular one uh, that we did quite like, um, but it didn't really have anything to offer over one that we liked quite locally to us, and it was actually the same price. So obviously, um, is that lots of looking about? at the task of getting it to where we actually need it to pretty be, pretty. it would be so much easier to get the one from near us. This is just a nice sort of little think? garden pretty area, pretty. Uh, which is lovely. That um, lots of oohs and oohs. it's got seating in it and, and oh. things like that, and it, it goes through an arch and to the other side. I'm actually coming over here though because this cute little boat here, um, I just couldn't resist filming that. It's it's been pottering about the marina. Um, so since we got there, really, uh, it's got a, a lady and a a little child in it and it looks so much fun um, so again coming back through the arch uh, there are some more boats for sale on that side um, 
so here they are but these where the others were narrow boats these are all cruisers um, that's what you're looking for they've got some very nice uh, cruisers for sale um, but that's not what we're looking for um, which is a shame because they are much cheaper but they're much smaller so they wouldn't really be suitable for us to live on board um, it's a really large marina this one lots and lots of space in there um, seems quite a friendly atmosphere lots of people stood about chatting um, lots of dogs um, quite friendly and open to visitors as well they've got a restaurant um, and they've got uh, shops and things not on the scale of Mercia but uh, it, it is still very nice we really did like it and the little boat's back okay, that is just so cute I, just, I need one of those I think even uh, even when I've got my boat so um, as I say they, they have got a, a restaurant it's, it's nothing fancy it's quite small there it is look but there's lots of outside seating and they do a fantastic breakfast really really enjoyed that so the next place we went to is uh, Beeston Marina um, not really quite what I was expecting um, again it's it's on the Trent uh, this is a little uh, information post telling you what you can expect and uh, sort of on the run up um, is lots of moorings just sort of at the side on sort of um, on, on the towpath and on the other side this little boat was absolutely adorable um, so as we're coming in, uh, there's a weir um, to that side. So there were lots of cormorants sitting on the little thing. There's the lock as you come in. Uh, this was a, a bar. They've got a bar and a cafe, a little bit run down. Um, but the marina part is actually just a couple of pontoons at the side of the river. Um, and there's no sort of, you know, off river basin or anything like that it is just moorings at the side so not a huge amount of moorings not a huge uh, number of facilities but it was quite nice um, and then we went to this one castle um, marina so the not a castle marina uh, quite small um, this is the area with the boats for sale um, loved the name on this one Tiller Girl I really like that uh, quite a nice looking boat um, the best boat of the day that we saw was here um, but um, it was a cruiser stern which is what we're after uh, but it, it was a reverse layout um, meaning that the beds at the back uh, to make it into a double you have to make it up each mm -hmm. night and I'm, I'm not really keen on that I'd like a fixed uh, bed if possible uh, that's just a view out over the marina very sort of crushed in there's not a lot of space this is the boat that I really loved um, all black it had lovely granite worktops inside on the kitchen very very nice uh, right at the top end really of our um, price range um, but if it had been really good you know we, we may have considered uh, stretching ourselves to that but it as I say it was the bed um, thing of it I didn't like and again you know we'd have to look to getting it back to where we want it but for the right boat we would do that obviously um, but while another thing we didn't like, we couldn't really get into the main part of the marina because it's, it's private and it's all closed off. Obviously, we could get into the bit for sale. But there's a road very close by and there was an awful lot of traffic noise. Uh, but, you know, it did have some nice boats for sale. So if you're looking for one for sale, it might be worth it. So I mentioned at the start of the video that we were also going to go to the Nottingham Riverside Festival today. Uh, we did, um, but this video is already long enough, I think. And uh, we got a lot of footage, a lot of pictures. Uh, so I'm actually going to make a separate video of the Riverside Festival. So the next video will be that one. It'll be the Nottingham uh, Riverside Festival. Um, 
I hope you'll watch that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Um, if you want to follow our journey, uh, click the subscribe button on YouTube. That'd be great. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.